Hi, my name is Thomas Farley, and I'm putting down my experience with the new Global Star Sat Phi 2 that I bought, going through the process of installing and diagnosing troubleshooting problems. Customer support will always want to know if you've installed the latest firmware update. And with that in mind, we go forward with the process. To follow their instructional video, I had my laptop running the video and then I had the iPhone in my hand and it gets confusing because there's different browser windows mentioned and I was never really sure of which one they were talking about. So the SatFi had its own Wi-Fi network going on and of course my laptop had its normal Wi-Fi wireless network going on. We'll look at this in a bit later. As usual press the silver button for three seconds to power the unit on. When I first got the SatFi, I was concerned that I might press the SOS button, but that's behind a cover. They put the on button though right over the SOS cover, but you're not going to trip it. Now they want you to download the latest firmware, which depending on which page you go to may not be current. We'll see that later. Right now on your phone you're on your regular Wi-Fi network and it talks about downloading the zip file. Mine always wants to throw it into the iCloud. Forget that. You have to put it in your file folder on your iPhone. Forget about the cloud. Okay, access the Wi-Fi settings and select the default. So now we're changing. We're going from your old Wi-Fi network. And here's a demonstration. This is an old firmware update page that's current on their site. This is the newest one uh, for February. But again, we've downloaded it. We're downloading it using your regular Wi-Fi network on your phone and pretty soon we're going to change over to the SatFi wireless network. Again, get that, be familiar with your files folder on your iPhone if you're not already. Okay, now we're switching over. Now we're selecting a different, we're selecting the SatFi network that hopefully you've already set up so you don't have to deal with this at this point. To make sure this isn't confusing, what's happening is we're looking at on our desktop the video, the instructional video, while in our hand we're doing these settings on the phone. So, okay, here we go. Open the browser and enter. This is really odd. Let, let me stop this. When the video talks about the browser, it doesn't mean the browser that you're watching the instructional video on, your desktop browser. It means the browser on your phone, which is very confusing because you're on the SatFi 2 wireless network and how is that connected to the internet? It must be working off of your other wireless network because if you've had the browser, the SatFi working before, you know there's an internet browser and it's real bulky it's there's a browser field that you can enter information and i thought they were talking about launching that browser but actually it's 
magically appears on the iPhone, there's a field at the top that you can enter your information in. I know that sounds confusing. The browser we're talking about is Safari, generally. And in the Safari browser window, you're going to put in these numbers. And once you do, things are going to proceed. And we'll see that shortly. So don't confuse the Satfy browser with the browser that's built into your phone, usually Safari. Enter these numbers, things are going to happen. Now honestly, see these windows suddenly pop up. I can't remember if I used admin or my regular password username that I had already set up. This goes fairly straightforward at this point. Now with this, look for the zip file. It had already put the files into a folder, but you want to select the zip file. Now this is a really slow process. Again, we're on the SatFi 2 wireless network. I'm not sure how many megabytes are involved with this, but it is quite slow. And sometimes you think it's hanging up, but it's not. Yeah, this takes a while too. There's a process, that, there's a point at which you think all is lost that's coming up here. Because, to re here we go, update complete, well, sort of. Now this is a pretty terrifying screen. You'll can't read it, but it says that connection has been lost with the SatFi. So you think everything's been lost, but actually it's rebooting, so it's not doesn't have the wireless connectivity at this point. It's engaged. It's not yet ready to reestablish a connection, but it will or it should. So you'll get past this. Now we're going to go from the browser window out and back to the main screen and back to the Wi-Fi settings. So there's a transition going on here. We're reconnecting to the SatFi network if it hasn't established automatically. And now we're going to go to the app. Well, I hope yeah, I haven't confused you too much. This process is not intuitive. I would say it's going to take you an hour. And go when you see the original video, perhaps you can relate some of the points that I'm making here. And the main difficulty, of course, is going back and forth between the networks and between the instructional video that you're watching on one screen and the phone that you have in your hand and downloading that firmware into the files folder, unzipping it, you'll get through it. It's just, and make sure you have the latest update. Um, there should be a warning sign. There should be, you'll later find out that the app wants to check for the latest update, but it doesn't, it, it fails every time I try it. So anyway, Good luck and 
You can send your comments if you like to me at uh, Thomas Farley, southwestrockhounding.com, southwestrockhounding.com.